Hello, hello everyone, and welcome on back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to be constructing this wonderful little cartographer's house you can see behind me, which is actually one of the first builds I ever constructed over in First Light, my survival world I've been working on for quite a long time now. It's quite a small but detailed build. It's this wonderful little L shape with this big tower poking out the top, which I think adds a lot of the fun that you would find in a cartography themed build. We have this wonderful little sign advertising it as the cartographer's house, a little chimney, a bunch of bushwork and detail, and I'm so, so excited to get into the tutorial. So starting off with this wonderful little build, we are just going to be bringing in some oak log and creating our structural pillars for this one. So we're making this tiny little triangle coming across three and doing another two oak logs just like this going across three more and another little triangle. Then we are turning the corner, coming across another three, just like that, another three, and then just one here in this point, turning again, but this way across another three and another triangle. Then three more, one last triangle, three more, and just like that. So our starting supports are going to be looking something like that for this build. And then coming in here to start bringing up our supports, I think first we start by laying the foundation for our tower here. So we are going to be bringing this one here up by seven for a total of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight just like that and the same here so one two three four five six seven same here one two three four five six seven and same over here as well one two three four five six seven and that is the foundation for our little central tower then with most of the rest of these we are just bringing them up by three so there'll be a total of four just like this here all of these ones up just like that, all of these ones up as well. And then these ones in here, we bring these up by three for a total of four, but only bring these ones here, these outside ones up by two. So same again here, up by two, and up by three in this central piece. And then we can start bringing along a few little cross beams, just like this in here. And we can also bring these ones out here and bring that inner pillar there up which we can actually bring these ones up here as well. So this is then the next step of our pillar foundations here for this build. Next, let's just cross beam off this upper section here of the tower. So we are going to be bringing in some spruce stairs and just doing this on top of these pillars and then connecting these ones just like this. And then where we connect these ones, you'll want to use oak wood instead of oak logs just for the ones facing these stairs so that when it's exposed, you get that pop of the oak instead of the inner piece of the log just like that for that top segment of the tower. And then next, I think we start blocking out our walls here. So coming right in here, we're going to be bringing some oak all the way around on this inner segment of the wall up by four, just like this, with one upside down oak stair right there for our front door. Moving across a segment, this is going to be the cobblestone side. So bringing the cobble in and around just like that with the stairs to accentuate the window. This back face will be our chimney, but we can just fill this one all in with cobble for now. And over here as well, I have a little balcony in my initial build for this one. So we just have this little door right here for balcony access. And then coming over here, this one is our oak segment. So we're going to be bringing in another tall oak face like that with windows. This back face here, we can just close in with some oak planks and we can actually bring this here across like that as well and then coming in here we are going to be having another door in this segment so bringing these sides up with our planks and then an upside down stair right there for that one and then right here as well we're going to be having another window so up by the four for a two high window and then our stairs just like that and now the build is starting to come together. We have a lot of our body here done. I think we move on up into the body of the tower next. So coming in here, we are going to be having two high windows here again, and then just bringing in some stairs for this little two high window right here and repeating the same thing on this other face here. 
just like that, the same again. And then on the back sides of our tower here, just bring this one across for now and we can just fill all of this in with our planks. And just like that, our build is starting to look something like this, which next we're going to need a little bit of spruce. And then we are going to be building this final upper segment of our tower, bringing this one up by three, just like this and creating these little window faces here, which we can cap off any way we want. We could just bring the planks up, but I think for the interior aesthetic, I want to bring a log out and across that one just like that. So then bringing our spruce planks up by three here and creating another one tall window and then bringing the logs across the top as well, just like that and repeating that one all the way around. And then we have something just like this, which next I think we start bringing our rubes onto this one. So for this upper tower roof, first off, grabbing some spruce planks, we're just going to cap off all of our logs just like this. And then grabbing some spruce stairs, we're going to bring them out along the front of our logs so they're not exposed at all from the outside, just like that. Next off, we are going to finish off the roof of our tower by adding in a bunch of spruce trap doors all the way around just to the sides of this piece of spruce plank here for something just like that. Then we are going to be adding some little windows in this upper segment of our tower by bringing some spruce stairs in just like this, a spruce fence in between them and a spruce stair again on top and just repeating that one all the way around. And then to fill in some of this space, coming on the inside here, I'm actually placing some upside down spruce stairs just like this to create a little bit of a more interesting effect for when you are actually inside this tower. Then we are just going to be placing some spruce slabs here on top of those upside down stairs and then bringing in some planks here behind those stairs just like that. Next, grab some stripped spruce logs because we're going to be bringing one layer of those up from those flat faces just like this and then adding stairs on top of those logs to start creating the final point of our tower. Then with spruce planks, we're just taking that one up by two planks and then two spruce fence pieces, adding some spruce trap doors all the way around this lower plank. So our tower roof is looking something just like that. Next, we are just gonna start building off the final bits of roof framework and adding in our berry bushes here. So right here on this front face, starting with some upside down stairs, we're just gonna bring them in here just like that and a spruce trap door between them. Then some grass or dirt in the three rows above them, spruce stairs here capping off these logs and three more spruce trap doors just like that. And then around on this other side, we're actually doing something a little bit different. We are using spruce slabs instead of our stairs there because I feel like these stairs help accent the door shape more but they take away too much from the window because the window does reach up that bit higher. So instead we're bringing slabs in here, but then the exact same berry bush, just like that, bringing our spruce trap doors across it, a spruce stair here like that, but we're not repeating that one over here because instead we are bringing this one here upwards and creating our little signpost which is just a total of one, two, three, four, five up just like this and then four out like this so we can place a spruce stair underneath it and have a gap and then the place that our sign is going to be coming down from. So just like that and then bringing in some spruce trap doors here for a little bit of extra detail and then just coming across over here, let's start blocking in our roof. So bringing stairs all the way out just like this and repeating that over here as well. And then with our spruce slabs coming out and up just like this to create this wonderful little shape just like that so that we can pop a trap door on top and beneath that block there just like that as well and that is looking really really cute coming around to the other side we're going to be doing basically the same thing but one block lower bringing our spruce stairs out to that final log just like this and then getting our spruce slabs bringing them flat across those five 
bringing it down by one next to both of those logs and up across those three there, finishing it off with our spruce trap doors once more. And then just for a little bit of extra detail, we can bring in some spruce trap doors right here on the stone face. And we can even do our slab and trap door trick right here above this door as well. And coming around the back side, we can just repeat our little trap door trick and add another little one there. We can't do anything in that space because of the overlap, but that is all good. That is what our roof frame is looking like. Next, grabbing some dark oak, we are just going to be filling in our roof frames. Super, super simple, easy stuff here. Just connecting up the top bit of our little frame we built with some dark oak slabs to the tower that we have there. So repeating the same thing over here on the lower section as well. And then you're going to have something like this. Now putting two dark oak trapdoors here, we're leaving these two because that's where our chimney is going to be coming from and then we can bring our dark oak trap doors all the way across up here as well just for a tiny bit of extra flair and detail there on the top which i think is so so cute Next, we are going to start bringing in a little bit of our detail. So grabbing some sweet berries, of course, we can just add those ones in here in front of our windows. Grabbing some glass panes, we can start adding those in as well to all of these window spots all around here, except not on that top spruce section of the tower. In this top spruce section, grabbing some spruce fences, we are just going to use those to fill in these windows. And one last little thing over here, we can actually bring in one more berry bush right here like this, adding in some sweet berries right there. Two spruce trap doors here, we do have to leave a gap here and just like this to create our tiny little balcony, which I think is super, super cute. And then just coming in here to start texturing this one up, we are going to be adding some stripped oak logs to all of our oak faces here, just like this. And bringing that all the way around into every oak face this build has, bringing them into the upper sections of our tower as well, of course. And your build should now be looking something like this, which that little pop of the stripped oak log actually brings so much more life and detail into this. I just love that. And as well, grabbing some stripped spruce logs now, we're gonna be doing the same thing to this upper section. Just starting to bring in a little bit of extra detail here with some of these spruce logs. And there you have it, our nicely textured up wooden sections of the build done. Next, we are heading on over to add some more detail to our stone section. Which our stone section here on the cartographer's house, we will be texturing with andesite. So doing exactly the same thing where we come all the way through and just mix in a bunch of andesite here and repeating it on the back face here as well, however you would like to do it. Then we're going to start bringing up our chimney. So grabbing a few blocks here and just bringing out these top three and then adding in a stair in that top section, which you do need to remove that trapdoor for. And then coming around the sides, we are just also going to be bringing this up just like this. Bringing these side bits up just like this with a little bit of stair action and we can even dig down right here and add one extra stair in there. And then coming around onto the top, we are going to add maybe a stair or maybe even one just like this. Some andesite, just mixing around our cobble and andesite and doing something just like that for our chimney. So we're going up by three with this little stair here to kind of bring it more into the shape of the build and then popping our campfire on top and a cobblestone wall on top of that one. Then grabbing our spruce trap doors and just bringing them all the way around our campfire. So we have a little chimney looking something like that, which that just looks so cute, doesn't it? I love how much the little chimney and stone segment adds to this build. Next, grabbing some spruce doors, we are just gonna come on inside and start adding those in here to all of these faces. And then just coming in here with our final details here on the exterior of the build, 
First, we're going to do up our little signpost by adding a spruce button on the end, a piece of oak wood just like this on the end of this fence piece with a button underneath it as well, and then bringing our item frames all the way around that one. In my personal rendition of this build, I use empty maps here in these slots, but you could use compasses as well, it depends on the theme. I feel like the empty maps fit a bit better with the more old style medieval build so I'm using those ones here and then using our spruce trap doors we are just going to bring in a tiny bit of window shutter action all the way around wherever we are seeing these windows we are just bringing in a little bit of that here with this one just bring it in over on that side above the berries and that is looking so so cute and our exterior is pretty much done coming in on the inside I'm just gonna do the floor work with you guys nothing crazy knocking out all of our floor here and just filling this one in with some spruce planks popping a little bit of stripped spruce log action here into this one and you're going to end up with a floor looking just like this which is a really really cool now I will just show you how to add in our little fireplace on the inside as well. Grabbing some andesite and cobblestone stairs, just start by placing them up against the wall in those two corners and knocking out those blocks there. Then bring in a little bit of flooring for your campfire, any of the stones will do, and pop the campfire in there just like that. Then a slab right there in front of it and bring in stairs facing inwards on top of those initial stairs, then a cobble slab or an andesite slab in the middle and then an alternating slab on top so you have a fun little shape just like that for your fireplace. Now congratulations, you have basically finished this wonderful little cartographer's house build and I think to finish off today's tutorial we jump over into first light and have a little tour of the build and coming in here to the survival world, this is the cartographer's house here in my own world, which I did change a few minor details for our tutorial. As you can see, I made the roof a little bit pointier in the tutorial, which I might actually change and edit here in my own world but as you can see here I did build this one here up on quite a bit of a hill and these are some precautions I installed so I could keep my villagers inside and not risk them getting out and causing trouble out on the town this is the interior I have done here for this one, which I even have a little bit of a different fireplace design in here. I have flattened out this inner bit of the roof. Here you can see I've got these little support beams for these oak sections, just with our spruce trap doors and some stairs and lanterns there on these ones. Here is my cartographer's desk which is two cartography tables and a dark oak slab connecting them to make a bit of a desk out of it and as well this is how we climb the tower here in the world. So I've just got these little platforms made of spruce trap doors so that we have this fun little walkway to go up and along but you can come up it just like this, walk in along this one and go up this final piece here up to the very top of the tower where I have these little spruce slabs and Augustus is trapped up here the village nitwit we have this little bell hanging down from this inner section of the tower and a bunch of just scattered storage I did even lower down this section of our slab roof so I was able to bring a lantern down right there and as well I just have this tiny little chair and crafting table here in front of the fire I have barred the villagers from accessing our balcony here but that is just the little trapdoor balcony that looks out back of the build and just over here we have a little bit of storage that I use for trading, a little bookshelf and a bunk bed for our two cartographers to sleep on. Nothing too fancy about it. And the last little detail of the build that you might be wondering about is of course just the leaves that we have built up on top of that. Which if I fly around here and just land up on top of this one I can show you a little bit of how they're laid out. I am using Jermsey's Better Leaves add-on if you're wondering why the leaves are so beautiful and fluffy and I've just kind of stretched them out across the roof. Now for this as well 
don't be afraid to destroy those trapdoors we placed earlier if it means you're going to be able to place some leaves flush with the roof. And I've just draped them down the side of the roof here from this center point where I've built them up to this point here and brought them in around the corner as well so they drape down over this edge here. And then I've also connected that up with all the leaf buildup we have on this section of the roof. Hi Augustus! Hope you're well! <laughs> and that is basically what I've got for this little build here. It is nothing too fancy. It's a really fun, cute little extra addition to any town. And I think it truly does add so much to the town just sitting up here on the hill looking absolutely adorable. And that is basically today's build all done. Thank you so, so much for coming along, watching the video, following the tutorial. I hope you are as happy with what you created as I am with this little build right here. I think it is such a cute little addition to any town or world, creative or survival. And if you haven't already, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, let me know what your favorite thing about today's little cartographer's house build is and if there are any build types or tutorials you'd like to see from me in the future again thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>